Step the field is a wonderful thing, but sometimes people can abuse it. So today I'm going to show you how to manage your depth of field so that your pictures and videos come out looking great. The depth of field, or DOF as it's sometimes called, is determined by four factors. One, the camera to subject distance. Two, the lens focal length. How much you're zoomed in. Three, the lens itself. Do you have a Canon lens, Nikon lens? It all matters. Four, finally, the f-stop. The f-stop is also known as the aperture. The aperture is something inside your lens. It's a circle that gets bigger and smaller depending on your settings. This picture was shot with the aperture set at four, the biggest aperture on the lens. As you can see, the subject of the picture is very separated from the background. And in this picture, I had the aperture set at 22. And you can see that the background distracts you from the subject and there's not much isolation. But what does depth of field actually do? Well, depth of field has multiple purposes, but the main one is to separate the subject from the background and not create distraction. As you can see in this photo, I turned the aperture up to f22. But the pink flowers in the background are distracting you from the subject. So I turned the aperture all the way up to f4, which in turn creates a blurred background, which isolates the subject, creates less distraction in the background. But sometimes people outright abuse depth of field. For example, if you're taking a picture of a person, sometimes their nose is in focus, but their ears are not. That is ridiculous. Yeah, I understand some of, some people use it for artistic effect, but in my opinion, subjects should all be in focus. Whoa, change of scenery and change of clothes. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you learned something. And remember, even though depth of fields can improve your movie's qualities, there is such thing as overdoing it. Alright guys, I will see you next week on a brand new episode of Parker's Digital Revolution. Bye!